Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Reentry, the space simulation game from The Only Way Is Beastly. So, I do apologise for the lack of uploads over the weekend. Uh, nothing I could do, I've been working solidly. So, I've got a couple of days off, so I plan to get a couple of videos filmed. And this is the first one. We are going to be doing some missions for the Project Mercury. There are two on there. I just need to have a quick glance on here to see if there's any early access missions. And there is. There's new missions. So now we actually have stuff to... Ooh, look at all these. Oh, I can't wait to play them. Right, those are going to be the videos for the next couple of weeks by the looks of things, guys. So let's do the suborbits. We'll try this mission first of all. And just let me mute my phone because I forgot I hadn't done it yet again. Alrighty, Bapu, congratulations on being selected as one of our astronauts. Yeah! Hope you have had some time to go through tutorials 1 and 3 in the Academy for the Mercury, which I have. I've actually completed them all, so I'm quite glad of that. So I'm currently sitting inside the capsule named The Only Way is Beastly, Mercury capsule on top of a 25 meter high launch vehicle uh, with a thrust of 350 kilo newtons, I'm going to guess on that. Not very, I'm not much the scientific uh, thing is in regards to that. Uh, but anyway, it'll take you into a suborbital trajectory. So the backup crew has ready the cockpit for launch. Feel free to optionally go over the settings using the checklist. When ready, follow the final checks checklist on the mission pad to finalise the cockpit launch. Righty ho. So as you can see, it's just me in this one. If you remember from my previous videos, let's have a quick glance outside, shall we? Is it still the same? Yes, it is. It is indeedy. Okay, so we've got nine minutes to launch, and I'm not going to speed up the time just yet. So, usually start within five minutes before launch, but this is the first time we've added five extra minutes. Okay, let's get back to my commander's seat. So, everything does seem to be relatively... Okay, let's open up the mission pad. Uh, we're doing a full-on launch and splashdown, are we? Let's... Okay... Let's have a quick glance at this briefing. Okay, so it looks like we're not actually doing a splashdown. It looks like we're just going up into orbit for this particular mission. So, that's all been done. That's been done. That's done. Let's do the final check, shall we? Okay, so let's turn that to on. And with that and that, I think we're ready for launch already. Okay. Radio check. We do five by five. I think we're done. Is there any other checks that we need to do? So we've done that. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that one up until we are actually at the edge of space. So let's speed up the time just a bit. Look at that clock fly. Okay. Ready for launch. Launch control is to the left. Started. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Let's have a quick glance outside as we are now taking off. Pitch manoeuvring started. So I know it won't look like it is from there, but if we do it from that angle, there you are. You can see the pitching has started. Okay, let's get back inside the commander's seat. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, okay. Yes, we're monitoring the G-forces, voltage, fuel levels, and oxygen levels every 30 seconds during the ascent, which are all here. And at the moment, everything seems to be relatively a-okay. Right, let's run through the... Is that the ascent one? Yeah, let's run the ascent program. So where's the tower jet switch? There it is. Where's the retro jets? There. 
Okay. Now we've just got the beauty of space to wait for. Yeah, I know we're close to stage separation already. There's the moon! Hey. Okay. Just waiting for that to... Cabin pressure is holding at 5.5. Yes, it is. Cabin holding at 5.5. That's better. Turn my headphones up. I can hear now. Okay. So, once we're in retrograde altitude, you'll perform the FWB pitch control system test before the retrograde sequence starts. So, I need to do the pitch control testing. Fly by way at FBW. Let's run that. There we go. So that is ready for the control there. Can we go out? Yes, we can go out. Oh, look at that. The size of the thing. Absolutely beautiful. Love this game. Petri, you've done a fantastic job of this. And I'd just like to take this time to oh, say I think the tower jets are going to get ready to go in a minute. So I'd just like to say this time to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. There it goes off. And yet, so everyone, so thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, and been sharing our videos. It's tremendous to see the channel continuing to grow. We honestly can't thank you enough for this. There we are. Christ, look how much does actually drop off. It's a huge amount. Okay, let's go back in. So, please complete the FBW pitch control system, which I've already done. Uh, mission activity will automatically start when you press Roger. Okay, so I've done it. So, use WNS to modify pitch. Shit. Um, where am I going here? <coughs> <coughs> Are we on the line? I think we're on the line there. Okay, so return to ACSUC by setting the ASCS mode switch back to normal. I think it's that one, isn't it? Right there. ACSC back to normal. There we are. Done. Okay. So I need to prepare for the retrograde sequence in one minute. So the ACSC should be able to maintain correct orientation. You can see this in the retrograde clock, which I'm going to guess is this right here. In fact, it might be right in front of me. Yeah, let's monitor it there. You can see it itself, can't you? Okay, so retro sequence started and alarm will soon trigger to warn you about the retro burn. You can mute it or just wait for it to stop. So we've just got to wait for that now. I'm going to guess it's going to be uh, one of these. Look at that view. Isn't it just beautiful? So a quick radio check. Five by five, fabulous. It is indeed. Okay, so when's this burn coming up? Pretty sure they said less than a minute. What's that down there? Light test and maneuvering, okay. that let's check our fucking uh, our I know I'm trying to limit my swearing there we are are we doing so what are we actually gonna reach full full on orbit here I don't know if we are I think we're gonna end up splashing down yes I think we are Oh, retros are firing. Here we go. I think I can still see the capsule just there, the bit that we separated from. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. Right, let's check our orbital now. No, it's still stayed the same. I think we're speeding back towards Earth, actually. Let's have an external view. Either that or we are just going to do a very short orbit. Okay. 
Is there anything left to do in regards to the checklist? So we've done that, so we've done that, 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 No, we all seem to be okay so far. I don't need to do gyro lines or pre-retro, because retro is done. So I wonder if re-entry is going to be the next step. So let's set it on anyway. Oh. Oh, there we are. We're getting ready. Oh, oh. Retro engines of Jetson, go to re-entry attitude and set the radio to HF. ACS, ASCS, I can never get that right. So they'll maintain the re-entry attitude. So feel free to do this manually using a rate command mode. So maintain your at zero pitch at negative 34 and use a constant roll for stability. Christ almighty. Um, I think I will let the computer do this one. Because it's one thing I'm not very good at at the moment. Let's do an external check. Oh, there it goes. There's the backside of it. Flying away. Okay. Let's go back in. So. Problem is that I wish that was digital. But thankfully, it seems to be doing it on its own. Yep, screen's gone dark. Holy hell. Okay, that's quite disorientating sat in this position. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, look, I can see plasma trails. I don't know if you guys can. Holy shit, I'm spinning. Don't let me spin out of control. Damn it. I've done that. Okay, what's this? Jeez, are building up. Shit, I'm spinning. Christ, we're in re-entry. God, what's happening out there? I can't see. <gasps> Are we through? Are we through the atmosphere? Tell you what, let's flip that back on. Let's go back to fly-by-wire. I can't see where the hell this is going. I need to do an external view, don't I? Right, shit. So we're not rolling. Crack. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, Christ. Um, landing. Run. Where is it? There we are. Right, so hopefully it should all be automatic. No. Right, the drogue's out. Drogie is out. Yes, I know. Shut up. That was scary, that bloody rolling then. Thankfully the parachutes are out, that's good. Okay, right, where's the altitude? There we are. So, we are dropping quite quick, so we are at 13,000 feet and dropping. And the main chute is out, fantastic. Welcome back, roger that. Oh, that was scary. How close are we to splashdown? Just passing 10,000 feet. Speed up the time a bit, shall we? Oh no, I can't, it won't let me. Okay. So we're in this for the long haul. You know, I honestly didn't think this was going to be a full-on mission. I'm quite surprised. You watch, I bet I failed it by the time I splashed. I haven't done this one, as you saw, because it was on zero stars. So, we are at 7,500 feet. Let's have a view from the outside, shall we? See, it doesn't seem like 7,500, does it? Look at that. The only way is beastly. That's fantastic. 
Let's see if I can stay on this long enough to make it my screen, uh, my screen thumbnail for the video. I'm really happy that's on there. Representing our channel. Speaking of that, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, actually speaking to the Beast uh, not too long ago, that's who you could hear messaging me with my phone pinging off. Uh, he's got an upcoming surprise for Christmas Day. He's actually coming up to see me and he wants to show a new toy he's got. Um, I don't actually know what it is properly, but uh, let's just put it this way. He had a shut up gushing about whatever it is since last night, so it better be bleeding good. Right, that should have been long enough now to make it my screenshot. Okay. How far have we got to go? We can't be far now. No, we can't. We're less, nearly just touching a thousand feet now. We've nearly got splashed down. Oh, sweet. I've never done that before. Oh, oh, here comes the water. It's rising. It should be that. There we are. Ha <laughs> ha. We have splashed down. Fantastic. All right, guys. I have thoroughly enjoyed this mission. And I'd just like to thank everyone that has been a part of watching this video. And, of course, to the game designer, Petri Wilhelmsen. Um, keep up the good work, dude. It's absolutely brilliant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from The Only Way is Beastly with many more videos to come. Take care, guys. <laughs>